GoPro and they can see the light by each other. subscribers really appreciate you guys and your feedback and your comments it really keeps me going here so let's hope for today that we end up catching a PB because that is always our intention and our goal definitely one of the best parts of the day is knowing that we're in an area where the grass has not been sprayed so my assumption is since the grass has not been sprayed and this vegetation is still healthy there we're gonna have some healthy fish posting up here so at the moment what I'm currently trying to fish with is the traditional Yamamoto single worm and which is always a really good producer when it comes to fishing never really had any problems with it other than the worm being too weak now for those of you who are experienced knowing that fishing the Delta can be very rewarding and at the same time very stressful so just to show you for the Texas rig style rig worm you notice how there is no movement of the hook point so that means nothing really has bit onto it. So therefore we can account for uh, that was not a logical bite from the fish. That usually a bite you will see the worm all kinked up and wrapped around itself, which hopefully I'll show you in a minute. But let's get it back out there. Now I know once I tell my buddy, Mr. Topwater over there about this location, he's gonna be all over it. He loves the Topwater Act. Can't blame him. And I see my line straightening. Could be a good sign. Got one. Got one. Worm. I think he's a trout though. Can't tell. But I will definitely be on the board for today. All right. Looks like we're going to be able to meet the one foot mark. Got a nice healthy looking bass. Nice brother, keep at it. I might need your bug spray dude. My feet are getting tore up. All right, let's see where we're at. So we're at, hopefully I'm getting that, but we're going to be at, mouth closed, thank you. We're going to be at 11, and three quarters, which is a good catch. Hope I caught that for you guys. Eleven and three quarters on this guy. Let's go ahead and let him go. It's a good start, but it won't necessarily count though in the competition. Yeah, there's some big ones here at the bottom. Thank you, sir. I have uh, three blows, three blows right there. And what happened? You missed it. I can't really see them, man. Yeah, I know. Great start to the morning, though. Really good. A backlash? Let me know if you need help. I'll help you out with that. They're a pain, but when it's braided, it's easier. Got it? Yeah. Just, uh, whenever this happens and you get frustrated, just to take it with the relaxed approach because it's easy to yank it and then you cinch the, cinch the cut even deeper. There you go, man. We should, uh, Hey, many times we're gonna be able to do this, brother. So we should get a good picture with that sunrise in the background. No, we just, take no, we just bring a flash and start drinking until we flash out. I saw it. They're boiling. Let's go get it. They're boiling up, dude. They're chasing fish right now. Cast over there. Okay, no hit yet. Oh, they did hit it. I'm gonna skin hook this. That way I get a better chance. There we go. Did you see 
that? My camera got it. Get in there. That was a larger than average blow up, bro. Me too. I didn't, I didn't wait. They want to chase. I notice. Yeah, I did. Oh shit. I'm tripping. I got to use the pompadour. I bet you I can get him with that. I know, I can feel it. Today's the day. Here's the pompadour. This thing does damage. Pompadour, Japanese. Told you. We'll go back over there. There we go. No way. Do I have a fish? Well, I couldn't tell if I had a fish or not. This thing was just going crazy like a torpedo. There's a dead striper here. How big was it? Nice. That's big. How's it going, man? Yeah, good, good. Uh, yeah, I've seen them boiling like right where you just came from, towards the center. Yeah, I caught a little one. Though. Yeah. I think one of them got too full. He floated off. He's all belly up. <laughs> yeah. So good luck to you, bud. Have a good one, man. Top water. I got one on top water. I got one on top water with a popper. Popper. And guess what it was? A striper. <laughs> yeah. That's still a bass and it counts. Bastard. Why you do that? Clean yourself up before I bring you into my boat.
Does that count? Hector? Does this count? It's a bass, right? Yes, it does. A bass is a bass. Can I bug you to take a picture with my fish? He's fun. He's fine. I gave him a beer and everything. He's just chilling in the back right now. <laughs> I finally got a chance to use my tandem too. My tandem? Tandem stuff? <laughs> Open tandem stuff. Nobody wants to see a man true bass win. <laughs> see? It's not a true bass. What are you talking about, buddy? This is. It's not a bass. How can this not be a bass? This is my first striper ever, Lugo. Is it? Yeah. One, two, three. I just took a picture of the fish. <laughs> All right, let's get them on the board. That don't count. Yes, it does. No, it don't. It's a bass, sir. Hey, even he agrees. He says it counts. All right, buddy. 14 and three quarters. C close your mouth because it doesn't count. There you go. 14 and three quarters. Reason to weep right there. Oh, wait. Open your mouth, it says 14 and a half now. <laughs> 14 and a half. Can't trade them. Big mouth or small mouth? It's gotta be those two. <laughs> it's gotta be only those two, right? <laughs> dude, I was like, in the popper, I was like, dude, I know if they're hitting on the top and they're supposed to, like, I know they're gonna want the popper. So, like, again, I confidently threw it out there. And I was like, yes. <laughs> all right, all right, fine, fine. Well, I don't got it on film nor picture, so it don't count. <laughs> hey, I clearly went past the six foot the shelter in place COVID-19 regulations. <laughs> hey, uh, I don't know how these guys launch their boat, but they're going in uh, bumper first with their car. Don't you dare make a noise, I'll kill you. <laughs> Why don't you get the boat away from me? Oh, that, that. Give me insurance. <laughs> oh, you're not in good hands in this is all state. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> oh this is oh, just sure. this is just an attack <laughs> let me see your plug oh, oh look what you're doing <laughs> i report you to the authorities <laughs> dude there's a gentleman out there with the neon blue kayak you can't miss him <laughs> Part of the original plan was to head out a little bit further down towards a location where they usually block off. Um, this area is known to build up a lot of hyacinth, and this was our first time trying to make an attempt to head over there. So as I'll point out in the map, you can see here right by the bridge, there's usually a canal which we can cross over, but there's a ramp too. But in this area, there was like at least 60 to 80 feet worth of hyacinth built up since it was a low low tide the whole point for us to head over here in this location as you can see there was a ton of canals we could have actually made efforts to hit up and possibly find our pb but unfortunately with the tide rolling in and <laughs> with the hyacinth building up we were just forced to go ahead and take the outgoing tide on the low tide and just ride it out for at least like about another four miles um, total round trip uh, at that point we just started going bouncing back left and right on the right side of the canal hitting up the rocks, more of the vegetation in that area, uh, with really no luck except for one striper, which I'll point out in just a moment in the next section. But from here, we just rode it back. Well, I didn't have the GoPro recording, but I got something to weigh in. Well, I shouldn't weigh them. I should just measure them for good measure. Let's see what this striper bass comes in at. Ugh. Now, rule of thumb is you always want to wet your board like that. 
Make sure these guys feel a little bit uncomfortable. All right, yeah, he's kicking good now. All right. Come on, little buddy. Awesome. He's like doing regular bass. He's like, I'll fight whatever fights, huh? Yeah, you know. At this point, I think you got a valid point, Hector. It's, it's whatever I can get, right? All right, so I'm coming in at 17 inches. You gotta close your mouth though, amigo. Just for a second, all right? Make sure the camera's getting this. All right, 17 inches on a striper. Hector, can I get a picture with this guy? Can I bug you for one? Yeah, I suppose I'm not doing anything anyway. Ow, he's sharp. <laughs> yeah, God damn it, what's my code? Taurus is the best bass fisherman. <laughs> not the right bass. This is don't kill tournaments. Hey, man, I'm just glad to catch him. Is he good? Yeah, he's good. He's off. Sweet, dude. I'm happy I got another one. I didn't want him, but I'd take him. I'm really disappointed though that uh what time is it hump time what time is it hump time <laughs> let me catch one more fish before i eat because i'm just doing so good at catching these stripers <laughs> What's going on folks? It's approximately 11.37 already. We're still out here at the Tracy Oasis. Uh, our plans to transfer over to the other side to where the old river is actually got... <laughs> it went to poop. <laughs> the reason it went to poop is there was a buildup of high hyacinth that was like for probably maybe, I want to say 70, 80 feet. And we really couldn't get through that. Uh, there's usually a guy there who would transfer boats over. I don't think he does that for kayaks. Uh, fell on my butt, chopped up my hand, and oh, Phil's, Ooh, Phil's got highest, and there you go. That's that's what it was filled with. So we're gonna go ahead and do a plan B, uh, which is not relocate to uh, another lake or another delta section. We're gonna go ahead and keep on heading down towards that oh, way. Keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. And just keep on punching away, using frogs, punching worms, and all the good stuff. So hopefully soon we will bring in a big one. We already got the biggest, which is uh, what my buddy Phil brought in, which is about 14 inches. Uh, he's got a picture of it. I'll upload it right here. See, that's where I'll make the entry of your photo. It would be nice if I had you on it, but we'll get back to that. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, if you're with us for this long, I hope these videos are entertaining and fun, but we're gonna keep them going and hope you guys are having a good one. Play my song. You're the best of the best. What else am I gonna take you down? <laughs> are you done trying to go for regular bass? Dude, I'm just going for bass. You better look it up in the books. These guys temporary, technically are considered a bass. How disrespectful are you, my friend? After all the things I've done for you, you could have said I'm not a bass fisherman. You know what? Today's official. I'm catching stripers. Hey. What the hell? Hey. Austin, you're on my line. Uh, oh. Get off of me. Calma, se calma. Oh my god. Get your, <sighs> your cheat lures away from me. Hector, I'm dealing here with a very important uh, client who, uh. You know, Dave. Greg That's Very it. That's it. You had to say his name, huh? We can't have. Oh, oh no. Subscribe. Do not he subscribe. All he does want to catch is stripe Is he worth another picture? Can I get a picture, Hector? Can I? Hello, guys. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I wasn't gonna measure you anyways. <laughs> you fucking fucking strapper, you! Wait till I catch your mother. You're not even the species I'm listening to, you son of a I caught you just for fun. That's how good I am. <laughs> oh, what happened? ¿Qué pasó, man? Papi, mira que mi anda no voltea. No sé qué pasó. Mira que la patineta ya no voltea como yo no quería patinar. Hijo de puta. Come on, Hector, get on the strapper, bye, buddy. I'll set you up if you want. Excuse me. 
excuse me, middle of sunshine? See, that's the difference between you and me, buddy. I could turn it on whenever I want. Like right now, I'm just catching some fun strippers. You tired? You want a Red Bull? No. Let me see the store right there. <gasps> she shut up a b I think I fell on my ass bone. Oh, I see you got the black frog, huh? Wrong. You can't use white frogs, huh? You racist, huh? Damn. All right, we're closing in now towards the end of the day. It's uh, what time is it right now? Three sixteen. So we just striked up almost like about a mile further up on Tracy Oasis. Drop shot, a couple bites, but we're on the opposing side now of the river. So we're gonna see what happens, see if we can catch any before we call it a day. Oh, there we go. I finally got one. Yeah, check it out. Oh, he's vicious. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not going to mess with him and his lip. There you go, you're free. See, look at that. You know how goddamn noise you make. <laughs> Give me your pole. Snap. No! My, my combo! <laughs> combo breaker! <laughs> the only issues I have sometimes in the Delta is just when I get gunked up with this kind of boogery, mucus, weird Delta stuff. But I do see a nice area over here where I'd like to go ahead and give it a shot. Now, it looks like there was a dead tree in that area. But I'm going to bet a bottom dollar on that one that there is some, some fish right in that area. I did cast right behind that, which I didn't want, so I'm going to see if I can go ahead and salvage it. Okay, this actually worked good, and from the far end, you can see there's a boat coming up, but that's fine. He's got about maybe about another mile before he comes to my area. Get in there for me one more time. Come on. Perfect. That's exactly where I wanted it, right under the tree. Now, my suspicion is if there is a bass there in that area, he is going to see that, and he's going to give that a consideration, saying, what's going on here? Normally, there's nothing going on here, but there's a perfect worm in the area, so do I take a bite of it? Not sure. And with my luck, yeah, he didn't want it. Bring us, oh, a nice little bass. See, that kind of key of a skip can make a big difference when it comes into presenting for these guys. I hear my friend hooping and hollering down there, but I'm not sure if he's got anything. He's usually fairly loud even when he doesn't catch anything. Just like me. <laughs> Under that tree would possibly be another good spot. Let's give that a shot too, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough range to catch that in. And my worst fears have... Come true. <laughs> well, if I can play that in slow motion, that's like a gameplay there. But uh, but yeah, I don't know if you guys caught that. I'm gonna have to slow down the footage on that one to make sure we uh, we catch my mishaps there. Um, yeah, basically tucked it in too far into the bushes, and what ended up happening is that thing came flying back at me. <laughs> you gotta wear sunglasses or at least some kind of form of eye protection if you're gonna be doing this. It's uh, it's only makes sense because you're gonna have these offset hooks with extremely razor sharp points coming right back potentially at your body or at your face. So always protect yourself with some good eyeglass wear. Um, I can cover more of the lens that I'm using for protection, but just my two cents. Uh, if you're out here fishing in the Delta, there are times where you're gonna get hung up. Please, please invest in eye protection because your eyes, you only get two pairs in life and you don't really have that many chances to, to get an upgrade.
All right, he's breathing. I got your measurement right here, baby. Oh man, I hope that wasn't the... Uh, may have a problem, Phil. This stupid son I think, wrapped himself around my pedal system. No, he got off, bud. You did that on purpose! <laughs> <laughs> did what? I don't know what you're talking about. You act like I did that on purpose. Look what you did, you little jerk! <laughs> I don't have to take this. I'm going home. on the board again. Hey Lugo, I got another striper. got here a 13 13 and a quarter not bad 